In this video, we will take a look at ancient Roman torture methods. Stick around. Raisin Bowl Cooked alive inside the Brazen Bowl The Brazen Bowl may or may not have existed. It's an old enough execution method dating back to ancient Greece that it's difficult to find evidence one way or the other. The Brazen Bowl is mentioned in some ancient Greek writings such as in the writings of Cicero but there isn't enough proof to say for certain that this method was ever used. Regardless, the mind that conceived the concept must have been a dark one. The brazen bowl, as legend states, was a hollow bronze state of a bowl fitted with certain demented fixtures. The nostrils were holes where steam and smoke could escape when the fire beneath made the bowl sufficiently hot. You know, with the human body inside of it. The nose of the bowl is said to have been packed with incense to prevent an observing crowd from sickening by the stench of burning flesh. The bowl is also said to have been fitted with special tubes that turned the victim's screams into the snorts of the brazen bowl, a form of sadistic entertainment to make the execution more exciting. Sewn into a donkey. If you're looking for cruel and unusual forms of torture, you don't have to look any further than ancient Rome. A donkey would be killed, its belly sliced open, and the entrails removed. The accused was then stripped of clothing and stuffed into the animal's belly. The belly was stitched closed, leaving only the accused's head outside, preventing suffocation but prolonging suffering. The donkey's body was kept in the sun. It would begin to decompose with the living victim inside being cooked by the heat. Maggots would crawl all over the accused, and vultures would peck at the animal's decaying flesh. Death, while welcomed, came slow for the victim of this torture. Fed to Wild Hogs St. Gregory described a heinous torture that was performed on young women by the people of ancient Greece while under Roman rule. Any virgin who was to undergo this torture was first given to the gladiators. After the young woman was no longer a virgin, she was publicly stripped and her belly was sliced open, spilling her innards out. Handfuls of barley were stuffed into her and she was sewn back up, only to be given to wild hogs. She would then be torn apart. Or tied off. Tiberius was one of the most feared and hated emperors in Roman history and for good reason. He was almost always in a foul mood and enjoyed devising excruciating tortures. The victim's penis was often the target of his cruelty, and he was known to invite his enemies to drink wine with him. As his victims got their fill of drink, he would have the tops of their members tied shut so they couldn't urinate. From there, the real tortures began, and the victims were unable to empty their bladders. Tortured Senator Emperor Caligula was just as cruel as old Tiberius. At one point, he had a senator slit open. The senator survived, and Caligula ordered that his eyes be removed. After that, hot pincers were used to take out his internal organs. To add to the degradation, the senator was cut in half and torn to pieces. According to Roman belief, death was not a punishment, but a release. The torture was punishment and death was only allowed after a certain amount of pain and terror had been felt. Nailed into barrels. Some people were meant to suffer longer than others before the sweet release of death. Under Emperor Domitian, Christians were tortured in the most horrific ways. One of the most disgusting tortures performed involving smearing a Christian in honey and milk. The victim was then nailed into a barrel and force-fed parasite-ridden food. The parasites feasted on the insides of the victim whose body began to rot inside the barrel. After about two weeks of this torture, 
the victim would finally die and become a martyr for the Christian religion. Buried alive. Emperor Nero took delight in having people buried alive. He almost exclusively saved this punishment for Vestal virgins who broke their vows of chastity. In one account, Nero forced himself on the priestess Rubria for a punishment. She was entombed inside a small cave and left to starve to death. Another torture supported by Nero involved the accused digging his own grave. After it was dug, a stake was set inside the grave. The accused was then bound and pushed into the grave. If his crime was minor, he would be pushed so that the stake pierced through his heart. Anyone convicted of a heinous crime was pushed so that the stake mortally wounded him. He was then left to die in excruciating pain or was buried alive. Eaten through the middle. Executioners often used animals to carry out their barbarity, as was the case with the cauldron torture. For this particular cruelty, a starved animal such as a rat, a dog, or a cat was placed inside a small cauldron. The opening of the cauldron was then fastened to the belly of the accused. The executioner would hold the flame to the back of the cauldron, making the inside extremely hot. The animal would panic and try to escape. The only soft ground for it to dig its way out was through the belly of the accused. Bee Basket One bizarre form of torture involves stripping a person down and stuffing him into a large, loosely woven basket. The basket was then hoisted up into a tree containing a large, active beehive. The bees were quickly angered and the person inside the basket was then stung to death. The accused was meant to suffer in agony for as long as possible. However, there were cases where the victim of this torture died relatively quickly due to being allergic to bee stings. This has been Torture, Ancient Rome's Horrifying Methods. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, hit the like button, don't forget to share, subscribe, and hit that bell notification that way you are updated every time I come out with a new video. Thank you so much for watching, and this has been All Roman.